everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to an Ulta haul. I don't do a ton of hauls anymore on this channel. I feel like a few years ago I used to do a lot of hauls, like clothing hauls and grocery hauls and really just like hauls in general, but now I mostly do like hauls from like Ulta or Sephora. I needed to do a refresh on my skincare and so most of what's in this box is just skincare products and then I have a couple fragrance items. One of those actually isn't from Ulta, but figured I might as well touch on it in this video. I forgot to mention, there's also hair care in here as well. So I just, I placed an order and thought it'd be fun to share it with all of you. So I hope all of you enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and jump into what I picked up at Ulta. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the skincare because honestly, that is one of, that's like the big reasons why I placed this order in the first place is I just kind of wanted to do a refresh on my skincare. I haven't done a big skincare purchase in a while, just because I've had a lot of skincare I need to work through, and I still have more skincare that I need to work through, but I don't have a ton of like serums or anything like that, and so I got a couple serums, and then, you know, then I was like just shopping around and ended up getting more things, so it's a little bit more than just a couple serums. Speaking of serums, I picked up the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex Serum. I just wanted a serum to really like work at night. I'm obviously getting older, I'm not getting any younger, the wrinkles are either here or they're coming, and so just wanted something a little bit heavier duty to use at night, and so this one had fantastic reviews. It was pretty pricey, but I'm hoping that it will be worth the price tag once I start using it. I have not tried it yet, so I'll be curious. It says to use this both AM and PM, but I think I'm just going to start in the PM and see how my skin reacts and then go from there. But super excited to now have this in my collection and be able to start using it. And then I also needed a new serum to be using in the morning. Right now I'm using a serum from Truly. It's like a vegan collagen serum that I've been liking, but I am like over halfway through it, so I wanted to try something different. And right now I'm using a face wash from the brand Beekman 1802. And so I saw this Milk Drops Probiotic Ceramide Serum and thought it could be interesting to try this one out. And then I was looking for some sort of like gel or gel cream for my AM moisturizer. I have just finished up a moisturizing like gel that I was using in the morning and just really liked how that sat on my skin. I used something heavier in the evening times but was looking for something along those lines and so I found this Bioma moisturizing gel cream. So thought it could be interesting to try this out in the morning. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it or not but figured I'd give it a shot before maybe going back to the, the gel that I was using earlier. And then last skincare product is this Peach and Lily Wild Dew Treatment Essence. So I'm imagining this is kind of like not a toner, but basically in replace of a toner, that step. And so I thought this could be interesting to use. My skin usually does well with things like this. And so decided to roll this in. I'm not sure if I'll use this in the morning or at night. I've been using my Kylie Skin toner for a while now and I really really do enjoy that one I feel like it does really well for my skin and I use that in the morning so I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this into my routine but I'm excited to try it out and I also love the packaging on this this is a glass bottle so it just feels really luxe and nice but like super simple so really excited to experiment with that one a little bit and then I also picked up one of these NYX fat oil lip drips. So I do really like lip oils. I've been using my Kylie Skin lip oil and I really enjoy that one. So I wanted to try out a different brand and these next ones have been getting a lot of hype. So I picked up the shade Supermodel, which is this pink, but obviously these are like really, they're not pigmented or not super pigmented. So I tried it on once and it's just a really nice like light pink shade. So I think this will be really good to use and has a delicious smell as well. So excited to use this a little bit more and see how I like it. And then I picked up a couple hair care items. 
I feel like my hair since going back brown has been like really, really frizzy. And I'm not, I think part of that is because I have probably had a lot of breakage when it was blonde because it had been a long time. I think it had been like six months since I got it like redone and retoned. So I was trying to like manage the toning of it with purple shampoo, which is obviously super, super drying for your hair. And so I think I just did a little bit of a damage to my hair doing that. So unfortunately, I'm just trying to like figure out a ways to kind of let it like solve itself. I think going back brown is definitely going to help, but then also maybe like figure out some ways to manage it. And so for the managing, I got a couple of products. This is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. Just thought I'd try this out. I do use the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner every time I wash my hair. So I don't know if this would like replace that or I'd use this a little differently, but Excited to try that one out. And then I also had so seen a bunch of things about this Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. And so the idea behind this is really like, it's just like helps prevent frizz and like is humidity proof. So you, you use this every three or four shampoos and then like spray this in when your hair is damp and then blow dry it because the heat actually activates the product. I think Ulta only sells this smaller version, so I am curious to like try it out, see if I like it, and then if I do, maybe purchase the bigger one at Sephora. So we'll see how this one goes. Well, we'll see how these both go and kind of see how my hair ends up looking as we continue to let it heal itself a little bit. And then I picked up a couple of perfumes. So the first one comes from Ulta. It's this Versace Crystal Noir perfume. I got it in a smaller size. I tend to buy perfume in bigger sizes because I'm like, oh, it's a better deal, but I have a lot of perfume. So I need to do a little bit better with just maybe buying the smaller sizes so I actually go through it. So just to read you the summary on the site, it says it features a rich and seductive blend of gardenia and amber, which I love. The smell of amber and then for the details the fragrance family is floral the scent type is oriental and floral and the keynotes are top is black currant black fig and violet and then the middle there's a variety of flowers and then the base has vanilla and sandalwood and a couple other things so it's interesting because i'm not typically like a huge flowery fragrance person but i do really like this one, and I think it's probably because of those base notes with the sandalwood and the vanilla is like my favorites. I do find this a little powdery, like once it dries down, it smells like a little, it's obviously floral, but it also has like a little bit of a powder scent, which is interesting to me. But I have, the couple times I've worn it, I have really enjoyed it. So this was a blind or like a, not necessarily blind, but uh, I didn't smell it before I purchased it, which I tend to do with most of my fragrances and I still enjoy it. So I'm happy that I like this one, even though I didn't smell it in advance, which I know is like, people are like, why do you do that? But I just, I kind of love buying perfumes that way. And this was actually a recommendation from Kathleen Lights in one of her videos. And I tend to like a lot of what she likes in terms of perfumes. So happy to try it out. And I also noticed that it lasts a really long time on my skin, which I love, love, love. So really excited about this one. And actually the other fragrance that I wanna talk about also lasts a really long time on the skin as well. So big fan of both of those for their staying power. So this is actually a Zara fragrance. This is Zara Red Temptation. I placed an order for my son for some summer clothes. Zara kids clothes are so, so cute. And I had seen that this perfume, I think was a Baccarat dupe, which like I don't have that. That's really expensive. And so I was like, oh, well, if it's a dupe, like, and I'm already placing an order on Zara, I'll try it out. And this was only like $35. And this also similar to that Peach and Lily, like Wild Essence Do, just feels really luxe because of the glass packaging. And like this bottom part is just like all glass. So it just is really heavy feels really nice. I will go ahead and look up the notes on this one. So this says, dressed up with the warm and textural notes of precious saffron and coriander, bitter orange provides a fruity, colorful touch to the luminous floral bouquet. The brightness of jasmine reveals the sensuality and femininity of white flowers, enhanced by a praline accord, modern and highly addictive. The flowers highlight the potency of moss and woody amber notes, wrapped in a musky cloud, leaving a wake of complete femininity. So again, floral, which is like not my like 
typical, typical go-to. I have floral fragrances, but usually they're mixed with other things that I like. But again, the, here it is, like you heard the amber and that. So I think it's just one of those things. And like I said, the staying power on this one is amazing, at least on my skin. So really excited to have this in the collection. It was a great deal. If I didn't already mention, it was only like $35. So really excited to try this one out in addition to my new Versace one. And that is it for my Ulta and then one thing from Zara haul. So I hope all of you enjoyed this video, just getting to see what I picked out. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and I will talk to you in my next video.